Hello and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Dick Tickle Mongolo's Adventures in Morrowind. Are you ready to fuck bitches and get money at the same time multitasking Scott style? Fuck. Jesus, I can't speak. Anyway, before I make a fool of myself, let's uh let's get started, okay? So in the last episode, we just uh murdered a bunch of uh of bandits. It was a real fun time. I'm loaded up with loot. That's why I'm moving so slowly. <sighs> Fuck. Um, so, I'm gonna go sell some shit. You know, so I can go grab some more stuff. And then after that, we're gonna find uh, Fargoth's secret stash. That's apparently pretty well hidden. I don't really know. Actually, I do know because I've played this game before, but uh, you'll have to see. It's pretty funny. So, Oh yeah, I got a bunch of like crack and skooma, which are crack is moon sugar, and uh, skooma is I guess like meth. Except you don't really drink meth, do you? What kind of? Well, it's like a drug that you drink, so I, it's illegal. So I have to drop it on the ground when I get in here. It's kind of lame. Just a sec. Let's see if I can figure out how to drop things in the first place. Like I said, I played this on Xbox before. Is it R F. Uh, E wouldn't be D. Let me just look at the controls real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, apparently it's not in there. Wow, that's that's just really great. Oh, I think I just take it and then I probably. There we go. Oh, genius. Um, where's the skooma? I think it's magic. There we go. He's like, I won't do business with you if you're holding them. But if you drop them on the ground, that's completely fine. Alright. So, let me just sell all of my shit. Don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Keep all my throwing stuff. Because I'm a lazy man. And I use marksman. I like how I just like stripped all the freaking uh, bandits. I'll kill you and then humiliate you and sell all your stuff. Uh, that looks about right. Oh, fishing pole. It's weighing me down. I'll keep all this other stuff. Actually, I don't really want this ring. Kind of sucks. So he can take the ring. Let's. No. There we go. Playa. Do I owe the pleasure, Breton? Playa. All right. Um. Yeah. So that's Fargoth, sneaky little bastard. And uh, I'm gonna go up on top of that uh, that lighthouse over there, where he can't see me, and uh, watch where he hides his creepy little gold. And then I'll go take the gold. And I'm supposed to give it back to the guy, but I think I'll just keep it for myself. You know. Fuck him. It's like, oh yeah, I'll give you a cut of the gold that you go get. Why don't I just keep all of the gold and, you know. Seems, makes more sense to me. If you know, if you catch my drift. And, uh, let me steal this. Take it. Take you too. Uh, okay, dokie. So then I head out here. And... Just watch him. He's like sneaking around. He's like, <laughs> like no one's gonna notice. Like I bet all the other townspeople are like, oh, Fargoth's at again. He's just sneak. He's crouching around, thinking like people can't see him when he's holding a fucking torch. Look, he's like sneaking by this woman. It's like, oh, she won't notice. But uh, I don't know. He's probably a little slow in the head. Just look at him. <laughs> Oh, I hate him so much. I wish I could just kill him right now. If I had... I should just throw things at him from up here. Anyway, he, uh... He goes and he, uh... Hides it in that stupid little stump over there, so... <coughs> just a heads up. Uh... Spoiler alert again, sorry. I'm just psychic, you know? I can see into the future. I know what's gonna happen. Oh, God. It's kinda boring. Come on, hurry up, doofus. I don't have all day. So yeah, he stashes his gold in there, and then he also stashes his uh, 
engraved ring of healing. For whatever reason. So, now he's off again, and I'm gonna go grab it. I'm gonna go grab his well hidden gold. And his well fuck, hidden ring. It'll be a great time to be had by all except for him. Look, he's still sneaking. <laughs> what a little noob. Yeah, I'll probably murder him one of these days. I'll just come back and murder everyone in this town. Fuck him. Oh, there we go. Lockpick. Ring of healing. 300 gold. And I'm just gonna keep that. Keep the change, not give it to Hriskar. Or whatever. You have my attention. And, uh, yeah. I think that's all that uh, Satanine has to offer me. So, I think in this episode, I'm going to grab the Boots of Blinding Speed and then uh, call it call it quits, okay? Even before I get the, uh, give the package to uh, Caius Casades, I think I'm going to get those boots because it'll take like two seconds, I think, if I remember correctly. Because uh, you're supposed to do this quest to do it, but... Riley fucking Mulligan doesn't do that, so I'm just gonna kill... I'm just gonna kill the person that has the boots. Fuck them. Who cares? I'm a cold-hearted murderer. Alright, uh, travel into Balmora. Loading area. Great. And you can see how beautiful it is. Actually, you can't. I really, I forgot to change the video settings. I'm sorry. Next time, it won't be all foggy, okay? I swear to God. I swear to Chod. Chod Almighty. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go straight for the boots. Don't really need anything else at this point. Then I'll come back and do... Look how painfully slow this is. So if I get the boots of blinding speed, I'll be able to move much, much faster. So... Nope, that's the Fighter's Guild, and here's the Guild of Magicians! They're so cool. Just kidding. I'm gonna join the Fighter's Oh yeah, there's skill requirements in this game to advance in each of these guilds. So like in Skyrim, you know, it's like, you're just like a fucking, like, you're like Jesus in Skyrim. Like you, you're like the leader of the Dark Brotherhood, the leader of the Thieves Guild, the leader of like everything. This game, you can't really do that. Well, you can eventually, but it just takes a lot longer because you have to get your skills up before you increase your rank. Which makes sense, kind of. Yeah, because, like, Dark Brotherhood, you didn't have to use any stealth and you could still become, like, the fucking master assassin. Alright, let's go get this doofus with their boots of blinding sped. Oh god. It certainly makes the world feel a lot bigger when you move at about one mile per hour running. Uh, I guess that's a plus. I got this jump around. That might, uh, at least it makes the drudgery a little more cheerful, you know? Like, just look at him. He looks so happy. There's a little bunny hop. Is it just me or does it look like the back of my armor looks like a dude with like a mustache or something. Like a crazy ass mustache. Can you guys see that? Or am I just, am I just crazy? I'm probably just crazy. Just uh, don't hesitate. Oh yeah, that's, you might think it's this person, but no. That, that person just got attacked by a witch. I won't, I won't deal with this person yet. I'll come back after I get the fucking boots of blinding sped. Yeah, he got attacked by a witch, and she took all his shit, I believe, and left him almost naked. She didn't take his loincloth, though. I would have taken a loincloth. I'd start a loincloth collection, just from that dude. Um, it would be great. I think it's this way. Not entirely sure. Uh, I probably made the wrong turn. No, maybe not. Yeah, I think I made the wrong turn. Fuck. Uh... Well, let's let's just see what where this takes us. 
Oh shit. I hate these things. Die. Die a horrible death, you evil. Come on. These things are so annoying in this game. Oh my god. Come on, you stupid flying retard ape. There we go. Hoza. Take you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the other way. Fuck. This is why I need the boots of blinding speed, so when I mess up and end up back in the stupid ass swamp area, I can just run back and it won't be a big deal at all. But no. No, that'd be too simple. I gotta first walk and go get it. Let me just put this on here and then. Excellent. Healing up a little bit. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just talk about, uh, something completely different. So, uh, so I'm in a band. That's cool. I guess, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, we had a show last night. We have another show today. Uh, if you're in the Washington area, we played at Studio 7 last night, which is in uh, downtown Seattle. Pretty cool place, pretty cool place. Uh, and then uh, tonight we have a house show, which should be cool too. So yeah, and we might have a show on Sunday. So if you guys want to know, we're called The Waywards, and we're kind of a, like a punk. We used to be a ska band. Uh, I'm, I'm the trumpet player. Uh, but now we're more like punk, kind of hardcore with, uh, ska elements. It's like, we have horn parts, but they're not like cheesy, like real big fish style, you know? Like real big dick style, you know what I mean? Um, so that's kind of what we're aiming for. Personally, my favorite genre of music is metal. Because that's, yeah, I think it's this way, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Because that is the great, there they, oh look at them, you can see the boots from here. Because metal's awesome. No arguing about that, am I right? Alright, so let's just go up to this person, and then brutally murder them. Nothing, nothing wrong with that, am I right? Let's save it, because this person might be a little harder than I was expecting, if you know what I mean. So let me just... This time, I might wait for my fatigue to be restored, because, uh, this could be bad. <coughs> this could be very bad, actually. In fact, it probably will be very bad. So, you know, I'm gonna have to use this. That's right. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm tired of waiting. Alright, uh, shielding time. Excellent. Let's put on a little uh, ring of healing again. And. Brutally. Brutally murder this person. Die. Look at this super climactic freaking battle of deafness. Luckily, she hasn't hit me yet. That's cool. Here it comes. I, why would I hold still? Let's do this. Oh, oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. How is she not hitting me right now? She must really suck. Yes! Victory is mine. Now it is time to rob you. There they are. Look at that. <laughs> Let's see how much it blinds me. Might be a little dark. Oh, that's not too bad at all. Look. Oh, I run like the wind now. I am one with the wind. I have a giant shield around me. Isn't that great? Alright, so uh, this uh, this Let's Play is going to go a lot faster now. Because things don't suck anymore, am I right? I can run fast. That's all I need. Um, so I'm going to head back to Caldera and then call it a day. Okay, because uh, I'm going to go a little over time. Actually, let's just stop it now while we're ahead. So I got the uh, boots of blinding dick, I mean speed, 
and uh, yeah, adventure. Excellent. All right, well, I'll see you guys later. Tune in tomorrow for another breathtaking episode of Dick Tickle Mongolo's Adventures in Skyrim. All right.